Hamilton, Ohio's Marvin Sizemore is one of the last known prisoners of war to have survived building the Death Railway during World War II. So this is the Houston here. I was having a section here. Marvin Sizemore served on the USS Houston during World War II. A quick stop in the port of Java to be checked out for a rash at a Dutch hospital would change his life. I've been over, I guess, about six hours. And this nurse said, uh, is that your ship? Or I said, said, he's leaving. I said, no kidding. They got uh, news there was a Japanese battle fleet just outside of where they were anchored. And uh, they pulled out and uh, the ship got sunk at night. 368 of the 1,061 on board survived. The remaining sailors and Marines, including Marvin, were captured by the Japanese and soon found themselves building the Burma-Thailand Railway as prisoners of war. We had Americans, uh, Australians, and English, and a few Dutch. These images from the Australian War Memorial show both the rail line being built and the POWs who did the work. Got a lot of respect for those Australians. They were, they were tough. Marvin recalls it all grading the land flat to carrying the rail ties. So if you dropped the tie, you'd scramble to get the tie picked up, but if you fell on the ground and landed on the ground, the guards would jump right on you and kick you. Kick you. Usually kick you, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever have one of those moments? Quite a few. Did you want to just jump up and, and take out that guard? <laughs> that run across my mind. <laughs> he says it was survival one day at a time. A firm believer, if you wanted to die, you could lay down and die, and then you wanted to just give up, that's it. A lot of guys did. Looking back now at the age of 100, he never thought he'd make it out alive. He was one of the lucky ones. Drafted into a service he didn't plan to have as a career, he served nearly 20 years in all. When you look at that photo, did you ever think when you, you got that draft letter that, that you would end up being a chief petty officer and serving as long as you did? <laughs> it never entered my mind. Uh, after the Navy, Marvin went on to serve within the Oxford Police Department until he retired from there in 1980. And perhaps his greatest achievement of all, he and his wife Helen celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary this year.